Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. Corner's Law, Practice Question 2. In Practice Question 1, we solve a question looking for the force on the third charge and the third charge put between two charges. This question, let's try to looking for where is the zero force place. The same data which is with practice question one, say Q1 equals eight microcurrent is positive, Q2 is negative 12 microcurrent. The distance between these two charges is, let's say, <coughs> is, uh, let's say, 20 centimeters. Still same data. And the Q3 is positive 5 microcurrent. <coughs> and we're looking for where where the Q3 can be put so that <coughs> the force, the net force on Q3 equals zero. So that's what we're looking for this situation. So we draw a picture, let's say you have Q1 positive and the Q2 negative the distance between is 20 centimeters so q3 is 5 microcurrent but we don't know where it is so we're looking for where q3 can put so that the force acting on q3 will be zero so Q3 can be balanced. <coughs> because from the practice question when we, we know if the positive charge put if the positive charge put between Q1 and Q2, because the Q3 is positive. So for example, we put any place here. For example, put here Q3. Because the Q3 is positive. And the force from Q1 is go to the right because repair each other, right? Repair each other. This is from Q1. And because the Q2 is negative, that's why they attract each other. They attract each other. This is acting on Q3 from Q2. That's why these two forces and the same direction, they cannot be balanced. We need looking for the place these two forces are opposite direction. That the force are opposite. If one force it go to right, the other force go to left. So then we it's possible to balance. So it is not working. So we think about if we put the force on Q1 here, Q2, this will be put Q3 on the other side. Of Q2, so this is if this is a Q3, because this is negative, positive. This is a positive. As we can see, and the Q3, the force acting on Q3 from Q2, because these two positive and negative they attract each other. They attract each other, right? Because we are interested to see the Q3. That's why the Q3 is F32 is go to left. And the other force from Q1 is positive and to the right side. This is a F3 from Q1. So these two forces are opposite direction. That's it's possible to balance. But then we consider again, think about because the magnitude, this is 8 microcurrent, 
this is tall microcurrent. This one is more charges. So if the charge Q3 put close to Q2, the force will greater because this is charge is smaller than tall and also far away that's a Q3 one is smaller that's this is also not working even they have opposite direction but this force we know is much greater must be greater than this because the reason this is a, is greater and also the distance is closer right the distance is smaller the force will greater the charge is stronger the force will greater that's why this situation f32 always greater than f31 there's no way to keep q3 better so the last chance is on the left side so the left side we can draw this one on the left side positive negative q2 q2 q1 q3 put on the other side and you can see q3 is positive positive they repair each other this force they repair each other and f3 from one and these two is one is positive one is negative attract each other attracting each other three two and because this is a eight microcurrent and it's closed even it's uh, the charge is smaller than tall but it's closed and the f32 is attraction attraction even is far away but is more charge this is 12 microcurrent so that's why it's possible to make this force equal right this one is from positive to positive to repair even this is smaller but closer and this force 3 2 f32 is from charge 2 even is far away but although it's far away but is more charge so it's possible to balance that's why this one is possible so how far we don't know we said this one for example here we don't know is x so this one is is 20 centimeters which is 0 0.2 meter and we can set up a uh, coolant law to solve it. so we need another paper yeah okay and we write the coolant law because F3 1 has to be equals to this one here see you call F3 2 F3 1 equals the Coulomb's law is K times Q3 times Q1, right? Q3 times Q1. The bottom is R from 3 to 1 squared. Has to be equals to K3 2, Q3 times Q2. The distance between 3 and 2 is 3 and 2 squared. Then we can write this one. First of all, we can say these two can be cancelled out. K, K can be cancelled out. A Q3, Q3 can be cancelled out. And then we got Q1 on the top and Q2 on the other side, the top. Q3 1 is Q3 1 from Q3 to Q1. This we don't know is x, but the x squared. And the Q3 2 is from Q3 to Q2. The distance is 
x plus this one, which is x plus 0 0.2, right? So it's x plus 0 0.2 squared. So obviously, this is a solving equation, solving an equation. So let's try how to solve this equation. Let's plug number in Q1 equal 8 microcolon. So we write 8 microcolon times 10 to the negative 6 comma 2 colon. The bottom is x equals to Q2 is 12 times 10 to the negative 6. The bottom is x plus 0 0.2 squared. And we can cancel the negative 6 with negative 6. And also simplify 8 with 12. This is a 2, this is a 3. So give us this one is 2 over x squared equals 3 over x plus 0 0.2 squared. Then we can do this way. We can cross multiplication. Two times this one, three times this one. So we have three x squared equals two times x plus 0 0.2 squared. This question we can do this way because x squared, this is also square. We can square root to both sides. And square root of both sides, we got well, this way. Square root 3x squared equals square root 2 times x plus 0 0.2 squared. And this is we got this root 3 times x because x squared after the uh, square root get the x. The other side is square root 2 after square root as x plus 0 0.2, right? The square gone because square root cancel with the radical. So now we can multiply. We got square root 3x equals square root 2x plus 0 0.2 times square root 2 because distribution, distribution, right? Then we can move the square root 2 to the other side we got square root 3x minus square root 2x equals 0 0.2 square root x. And the square root 3 is 1.732x. Square root 2 is 1.414x equals 0 0.2 multiply 1.414. We got this one is uh, 1.732 subtract 1.414 give us 0.318x equals then we can have 0.2 multiply 1.414 equals 0.2828 then we Finally, we divided this one, we got x equals, divided 0 0.318, 0 0.2828 divided 0 0.318 equals to 0 0.89 meter. So which is equals to 89 centimeter. This x is from Q1. And on the left side, a positive charge is 89 centimeters from Q1 because we said that this is the x. So at that point, if Q3 is 5 microcolon for that point, the force will be zero which means the Q3 will be balanced because the net force equals zero.
Hey, this is presented by Wise Guy. Thank you.